Hello everybody, Stephen Rogers Lim here again. It's been some time, so um, just to do a bit of a timestamp here. Uh, right now it's about uh, 7.05 p.m. Uh, 3rd of September. So I actually watched the Sang Chi movie just uh, yesterday, one day ago on 2nd of September at about 12 noon. So part of me there, I took a bit long, I think one and a half days to make this, to finally make this video. So, uh, I really wanted to make this video because uh, there was this mid credit scene which was really mind-blowing and I really want to do an explanation to explain what the mid credit scene is about. Uh, so far, I don't think anyone on YouTube has made it yet. I don't think so. Or at least... Uh, explain it or at least i didn't want to watch any because these ideas were my own and of course uh, my work colleagues or my friends who i watched the movie with two of them you know who you are thanks for watching the movie with me now uh, of course serious spoilers ahead so just a warning here if you don't want to have the movie spoiled for you or you, if you haven't already watched the movie i suggest you don't watch this yet I think it's also a good time to watch uh, my video after you have watched the movie and both the mid credit scene and end credit scene so spoilers ahead here so i will continue with my video in three two one so you have been warned major spoilers ahead now uh just a bit of a disclaimer here my own these are my own theories and views uh, but of course they are based on the evidence and facts and what has actually happened in the MCU so far so I mean you can go ahead and agree or disagree with me uh, of course uh, these are just my own so-called uh, speculation I wouldn't say they are just speculations they are actually more of inferences and predictions based on some facts so of course uh, it's not true until they are officially uh, or they officially happen in the MCU timeline or in the MCU movies or shows so just a bit of a disclaimer here. Now, there is actually a end credit scene, but I will not talk much about that. I think that end credit scene is quite straightforward. Uh, Sang Chi's sister, uh, Xia Ling, took over the Ten Rings after their father died. So instead of just having a male-dominated male society or, or organization, now there are female fighters, female warriors, and if I'm not wrong, Xia Ling should be bringing the Ten Rings organization into a more positive, a more good one, rather than a villainous or evil organization. Now, on to the movie. I will not do a review about the movie. I don't think I want to do such a long video. So, the movie is generally very good. Uh, it really reminds me of Black Panther, how a person uh, overcome his or her tribulations and trials and challenges to become the warrior he or she is meant to be. So, over here, this is... It's very similar to the Black Panther movie and this movie is really good. I will give it between 4 to 5 stars. I think online, uh, the reception has been very well as well. The reviews he has received is very good as well. Actually, it also reminded me of the movie uh, Captain America, The First Avenger. Of course, it's very different from Captain America in the sense that there's no family in Captain America. He lost all his family. He was more with his friends and comrades. But nonetheless, it's very similar because Captain America or Steve Rogers also faced his own trials and... Uh, challenges to become who he actually is, uh, Captain America. So this is a great movie, if you ask me, Sang chi Now, uh, let's get on with it. Um, everybody knows that from the trailers, right, Ab Abomination and Wong actually did appear. And this scene actually appeared in one of the earlier parts or earlier scenes of the movie. Now, this is actually not just a one-time off. It's actually a build-up uh, to the mid credit scene, actually. So, um, in the mid credit scene, right, let me explain what happened. I don't have the actual footage. I mean, it's illegal to even film uh, in a cinema, especially in Singapore, where rules are tight. So, I'll just quickly explain what happened during the mid credit scene. So, during the mid credit scene, right, uh, after Sang Chi defeated, uh, of course, his father and a greater evil, which I will not spoil here. So, he was brought, Sang Chi and the girlfriend, Katie, was both brought into, a, if I'm not wrong, the sanctuary or the sanctorium by Wong. Now, uh, as the two of them were brought in by Wong into the sanctuary, Captain Marvel was already there together with uh, Bruce Banner. Now, the interesting thing is Captain Marvel has her long hair again. So these two 
were actually like in the hologram shown in Endgame. So uh, they were communicating or they were having a, a, a conference or meeting or a Zoom meeting if you might uh, even say that. So her hair was long but she looked older. And Bruce Banner definitely looked much older uh, with spectacles and he is no longer the Professor Hawk that we know of or, or the big and bulky uh, fierce angry Hawk. He is more of Bruce Banner with spectacles. Uh, long hair, very old, like like how uh, it really reminded me of how Tony Stark uh, aged uh, throughout the years in the movies, and of course he was wearing his armband. I think his arm, uh, his right arm is still still uh, injured and still recovering. Now, so what happened was the main thing is Wong was asking about Shang Chi where he got the ring, the ten rings, because the ten rings has begun to send out a signal. And interestingly, Wong was mentioning that through the library of books that they have as uh, Sorceress or Sorceress Supreme, there was no indication of the existence of this weapon. So it was uh, neither a mystic nor a magical weapon. So uh, very quickly, Captain Marvel just said she had to go off to settle a problem and told them that Bruce Banner actually had her number so they could contact her anytime. But Bruce Banner mentioned that he doesn't have her number at all. So it seems like I, I'm not sure here, maybe Captain Marvel was lying or she didn't want to be contacted that often, you know, she just wanted to find an excuse to quickly leave the meeting. So basically that was what happened during the meeting uh, in the mid credit scene and of course, the funny thing is, um, Sang Chi told Katie and, 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 sorry, I mean Wong told Katie and Sang Chi to go and rest but in the end they ended up going for KTV instead. So, uh, basically the Ten Rings sent out a, 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 a beeping signal it, it, it became like a beacon but the problem is or the question is the signals were sent to who or where or what right so this beacon was uh, activated uh, now why was the beacon activated right let's go back to the story so major spoilers here again I'm so sorry I have, I have to set the context so uh, Wen Wu or aka also known as the Mandarin he has been using the ring the Ten Rings, uh, earlier on it was said in the movie for a thousand years or thousands of years. And he's because of the Ten Rings that gave him this power to conquer lands, to conquer um, other warlords, to, to gain his foothold, uh, to, to gain reputation for himself, to gain power, to gain his army. So he really conquered many lands or, or many enemies. And yet the beacon was only activated when... It seems like a good version uh, of the rings were being used or uh, being used by a good version of a person. So the user was a was of course Sang Chi, who had seems to have good intentions, and only these good intentions seem to have activated this beacon or this signal that was sent out. Now, uh, so this is the Ten Rings organization, and it has been uh, introduced in the movie, right? That the Ten Rings gave Wen Wu or Mandarin. Uh, unnatural powers where he didn't age and he continued to stay youthful so you can see that throughout the thousand years or, or the thousands of years so you get my drift right it's like many many years he still continued to stay young and he didn't age so it seems like the ring the ten rings did not just give him attacking or assaulting or even defensive powers but seems to stop himself from aging and you can see that the ring can be used for both evil and good Right, evil and good, and it is. It seems like it is the good uh, user that has activated this beacon, and not the evil one. So the evil user doesn't seem to be able to activate this beacon that is sending out these signals. Yes, and this brings my 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 conclusion or my my story or my my ideas to uh, Kang Kang the Conqueror or he who who still remains or he who remains. Now in the story, right, you can see that. Uh, in Loki, okay, in Loki, a uh, Kang was, or a variant of Kang for that matter, was introduced and he never aged. And he was trying to explain to him, uh, to, to both Loki and Silver that he looks much older than he was. So it seems like even in Loki, it was introduced that he had technology that prevented himself from aging, just like how um, Wen Wu or the Mandarin didn't age using the Ten Rings. So, yes, I am suggesting, or I am. Hoping actually that the Ten Rings belong to a Kang or variant of Kang because if you search online as well, Kang has a wonderful array of technology, weapons, uh, 
amazing divisor. So you can see this is the blaster. It's very iconic of him holding the blaster and assault or assault rifle or whatever you call it. So you can see that he has uh, excellent, miraculous devices. He has a battering suit. He has an armory of weapons. So you can see that his technology is mind-blowing. Is whoa, it's, it's really excellent technology. Can not just um, attack or defend, but also prevent himself from aging. So you can see here another picture of Kang and his technology. Okay, another one is like a, a world-dominating, world-destroying kind of uh, technology. So you can see, right? I mean, my, my idea here is to draw the connection from the Ten Rings to it actually highly possibly Kang's technology. So uh, I further searched more of Kang and his technology. So there's a, there's a knife or sword here or dagger here together with his invisible floating couch. So you can see that the technology Kang has is really amazing. Another technology that he has, you know, uh, firing beams or, or, or lights, you know, or, or force field from his hand for all his fingers. And again, his, his cannon or his blaster, whatever you call it. So you can see that Kang really has a, a great range, a great variety of, of uh, weapons and tech. Now you can also see, right, in the variants or the different versions of Kang, they each have their own technology. So... I would believe that throughout the multiverse, different Kangs would have different specialities or different kinds of weapons or tech, uh, technology. And probably the evil version um, or, or the villainous version will have their own tech also compared to the good versions or the kind and more good-hearted, good-natured versions of Kang. So uh, I would presume, right? I would presume and I would think that we are heading down the story of building up Kang as the main villain, the main uh, antagonist. And the Ten Rings would be, if I'm not wrong, I'm just guessing, making a prediction here. I'm hoping that it was created, the Ten Rings created by a good version of Kang. And uh, once it was used by any, any good person, that's why the beacon was sent out. Possibly, possibly to rally different uh, heroes or even different good versions of Kang to this uh, wielder of now the Ten Rings who is also good in nature and possibly to counter or to defend the attacks from the all, from all the more uh, evil and villainous versions of Kang. Right, so you can see, right, uh, it was also introduced that uh, this is, okay, right, this is the timeline or this is the fractured timeline or the creation of the multiverse now. In the Sang chi movie, it was also uh, mentioned that the, the, the Ten Rings, right, it was either uh, found as a, 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 or discovered as a treasure or it was raided, a tomb was raided, and that's how the Ten Rings was found. So it was not mentioned precisely in the movie as well how the Ten Rings was found or, or discovered and, and taken by Wen Wu or the Mandarin. So, but we all know that it was somewhere in the past. So it could have been... Uh, placed in the past by a variant of Kang or, or it could be uh, most likely it would be placed there right because it's so it's such high technology it's, it's, it's a technology uh, out of time and, and that's why one was able to use this high tech to conquer uh, the different lands and, and defeat the different enemies that he wanted so most likely I would say most likely is a uh, the Ten Rings was created in the future and planted in the past rather than being invented in the past by a variant of Kang. So you can see, right, uh, the battles uh, between Wen Wu and, and or the Mandarin and Shang-Chi in the movie really showed us that there are different two different ways that the rings can be used, either in a good way or the evil way. So that's how the rings were activated. The beacon was sent out by Shang-Chi. Now, uh, this is also a good way... Uh, a good story line to be created as well if if the, the the rings was really created by a variant of Kang or by Kang himself so that Sang Chi can be inducted or can be introduced and can be added formally into the group uh, the Avengers uh, into part of the Avengers so that these rings these ten rings can be part of the weapons or, or part of the hero in defeating Kang which I think uh, would be very difficult uh, for the Avengers. Uh, I mean, if you go and watch uh, other U YouTube videos or the comics, Kang is really a formidable, a formidable enemy. So uh, I really hope that uh, my my guesses or predictions or inferences are true, so that we are leading towards the Avengers being formed, created, uh, regrouped, 
so that they can actually un be united to fight against Kang and of course the technology, part of his own technology which is the Ten Rings can be used to defeat Kang, the Conqueror. So I have almost come to the end of my, my, my video but um, I mean everybody should, I mean most of you or, or many people out there should know that my speciality in making videos is more of, the, of uh, toys, hot toys. So I want to mention about the hot toys here. So this is a beautiful Hot Toys there. It has already been announced and confirmed by Hot Toys 1-6 scale. So this is Wen Wu aka the Mandarin and this is Sang Chi. So I'm thinking right, uh, sorry here, major spoilers again. This should be uh, different versions of the 10 rings being used by Sang Chi. Whether it's in fighting mode or, or, exam, or, or uh, the rings are supposed to be placed into the arms. So I will believe all these accessories, all these additional uh, accessories that are not announced yet actually the different uh, versions of how the ten rings are being used uh, that, that will be announced or that will be included in this figure that is just that uh, Hot Toys has been uh, instructed or will be asked by Marvel not to spoil the movie by not adding the ten rings in yet but most likely they are uh, the accessories are of the ten rings so this is the uh, the the uh, announcement of Wen Wu or AKA uh, the Mandarin, which I'm also very excited. I think most likely I will be buying both these figures, uh, if 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 financially or other reasons allow me to. And yes, I wanted to show this to everyone. So since now we know this is the original, this is the, this is the Mandarin or Wen Wu is the Mandarin. I also can't wait to pose this with. Mark 50 or whether it is the Mark 85, I think it will be an excellent inclusion uh, to my toys. So that, uh, because, I mean, even in Singapore, right, in, back in the 90s, right, we used to watch the cartoon. The main uh, antagonist or the main villain for Iron Man is the Mandarin. And yet, in the MCU, it's not. Uh, it's more of uh, Thanos or even Ultron. So, um... I mean, I'm just hoping that, you know, uh, I just want to be able to pose these two figures side by side because of the cartoons, the many cartoons or, or episodes or series that I've watched uh, as a Singaporean of how uh, Iron Man constantly have to battle uh, the Mandarin and his Ten Rings. And um, I just want to say this here. I think these are three and a three quarter inches, the smaller figures. They are not definitely not one six scale toys. Uh, credits uh, to the owner of these pictures. You know who you are. So I put this off the web. These are beautiful pictures, toy pictures of Kang, and I am really hoping that Hot Toys will be creating these versions of Kang. Look here, even the toys feature prominently his blasters or, or his rivals or his cannons. So I'm really hoping that as the stories develop, whether it's in the shows or the MCU movies, Kang would really be the main antagonist. And Hot Toys will produce Kang as the villain. Look at the throne here. I really hope that all these will be produced in 1-6 scale by Hot Toys in the future. Uh, but these are the smaller versions if I'm not wrong. Yep. So um, I have come to the end of my this video. Sorry, I wanted to make it a bit shorter. But I think it's about uh, double the length or the duration of what I intended it to be. So... Uh, I always welcome any comments or questions to my theory or to me, to, to my, my friends and my theory as we were watching the mid credit scene. So what do you think? Um, do you think um, most likely this will bear fruit? That the Ten Rings actually belong to a uh, variant of Kang and it is his technology since it is uh, too high tech to be created in the past. It should be from the future and definitely it has some kind of... Uh, anti-aging uh, properties so go ahead and comment and if you have any questions go ahead as well and this is Stephen Rogers Lim here as always hope you can uh, like my videos give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it subscribe to my channel if you haven't done if you haven't already done it thank you so much for all my subscribers and my viewers thank you so much for your support so far and encouragement this has been Stephen Rogers Lim here yes I know this is not a toy video but nonetheless don't stop collecting people Hope you like this video of mine. It's been a different video. Alright, till my next video. See ya everybody.